happy to join with you today in what will go down in history as the greatest demonstration for freedom in the history of our nation. We have come to this hallowed spot to remind America of the fierce urgency of now. This is not a time to engage in the luxury of cooling off or to take the tranquilizing drug of gradualism. Now is a time to make the real promise of democracy. Now is a time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. Now is a time to lift our nation from the quicksand of racial injustice to the solid rock of brotherhood. Now is the time to make justice a reality to all of God's children. Today is not an ending, but a beginning. Those who hope that the minorities of America need to blow off steam and will now be content will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. There will neither be rest nor tranquility in America until all citizens are granted their, citizen, their citizenship rights. The whirlwinds of revolt will continue to shake the foundations of our nation until the bright day of justice emerges. We can never be satisfied as long as our children are stripped of their selfhood and robbed of their dignity. No, no we are not satisfied and we will not be satisfied until justice rolls down like waters and righteousness like a mighty stream. Go back to the slums and ghettos of our modern cities, knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not wallow in the valley of despair. I say to you, my friends, we have the difficulties of today and tomorrow. I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that my four children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. This is our hope. This is the faith that I will go back to the people with. This is the faith that we will be able to carve out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling of chaos of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to go to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to climb up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty of thee I sing, land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. When we let freedom ring, when we let it ring from every tenement and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. 